It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods, a neighborly day for our beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbor. Glad we're back together again today. Um, in just a little bit, television neighbors, I'm going to be taking you to a place called the School of Mimes uh, Performing Arts uh, Theater District. But, be but before we go over there, I got a few things I like to show you. This is the the spy camera and here are my two cars now be before we go visit our neighborhood mine school school district of the performing arts let's get the neighborhood uh, trolley and we'll have some make-believe right now. All right. Now, last time in the neighborhood of make-believe, uh, Charles R. Aber, played by my dad, was talking to Queen Sarah about a very important I idea about um, a very special mime lesson to the young children. Let's, let's, let's make believe that Bob Dog n knows nothing about this uh, special class and he's really anxious to get started and also why don't we pretend that um, X, XDL is going to talk to you Mr. Aber about some of his feelings. All, all right, Charlie, neighborhood of make believe. I'm I'm Queen Sarah, and it's a joy as honor that you're. You're teaching the children about mime lessons. Well, I, Charles R. Aber, am doing just that. And I wish to say yet again, Queen, Your Majesty, Your Highness, that I am absolutely honored to be in your presence. Um, no. Now tell me, dear. Yes, your highness. Uh, how soon will you be able to teach these lessons to the the children? Well, I'm thinking we can start this afternoon. Would you like to have me do that? Of course I would. Okay, because you know, once they start miming it, they'll be a lot more quiet. Um, I'm, I'm X the Owl, and I, I 
think you're doing a good job of teaching Daniel Tiger and a platypus and Prince Tuesday all about the lessons of miming, Miss Straber. Well, thank you, Exial. You know, you look like maybe you're trying to look like that famous uh, singer, Pink. Did you dye your feathers? Uh, n no, but I'm nifty glifty as always. Well, I'll say you're nifty glifty. Good to see you again. Well, good goodbye, tr tr Charlie. Goodbye. Well, we'll have to think some more about that. Uh, pretend neighborhood place the next time. But be, but before I go, television neighbors, I I would like to take you to that place where um, three of my neighbors are doing the their very own miming miming tricks for your own amusement. So, why don't we go visit our neighborhood mining school of the Performing Arts District to meet the three wonderful people, Sam O'Daly, uh, uh, Clara Washington, and uh, Billy... Billy A Alexander, come, come along. Sam, good, good to see you. Well, it's good to see you again, Victor. How are you? G good. Good. And you too, Clara. And you too, Billy. Um, I would like all three of you to meet my uh, television pals. This. This is Sam O'Daly, this is Clara Washington, and this is Billy Alexander. Now, now Sam, I heard from J Joe Negri that you've been practicing your mining skills when you were about uh, five years old. Um, I would like all three of you to sh show me some of your own miming skills. That was wonderful. How did you manage to do that? In, inside your brains? Well, that was magnificent. Um, I would like to c come back again t tomorrow and s see some more of your my my lessons. Well, good, goodbye, Sam O'Daly. Goodbye, Clara. Good, goodbye, Billy. Now, it it gives me s such a wonderful, wonderful. 
feeling to be able to believe that there are such talented mimes like Scott O. Daly, and it also gives me a brilliant feeling to be able to see how much people can use their skills to be able to show their warm appreciation to other people who really know how to use their miming tricks really well and be uh, perfect in every way. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling. A very good feeling. The feeling you know that I'll be back when, when the, the week is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you want to talk about. I will too. Until tomorrow. Bye.